to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, the one nation, under God, indivisible, the liberty and justice for all. The agenda, any additions or corrections, I remind you all that this is a special board meeting and uh, not open to general topics. No? Okay. The, uh, we start with public comments, and again, those are should be restricted to items that are specifically on this agenda. Ah, uh, where's the again? You know how it comes. I'll move the agenda be accepted. Sharon, who suggested that they meet on a Thursday yes. afternoon of the, uh, the last Thursday of each month. Uh, um, and I can't remember who else uh, thought that that was a good idea, too. Not the last Thursday, the question of where it was. Um, and I personally think that's a good idea. I, uh, I agree with Joe. Uh, if you always have it on the same day, then you probably want to do it more. Now, go ahead. So. Uh, I just, I should raise their hand? Yeah, yeah, just, just this, is okay. a, this is a discussion. Okay. Of, uh, um, I'm 
may be the only one around this table that's still working. Nope. You're working too. Okay. Okay. A 9 a.m. meeting for me is very difficult. I just ran to the office to get here and I'm late. I apologize. Okay. A few minutes late. I have great difficulty at 9 uh, <coughs> Like the 3 o'clock meetings we did last year, I was able to get my business done and concentrate and not have to worry about rushing back. So if we could do it in the afternoon or late afternoon, I would certainly prefer it. I do think uh, Joe's comments are valid. However, I do think some people also work during the day and they would enjoy it. And I see we have a couple of evenings here. But I do request them to tell him <laughs> that it's almost impossible to do. Anybody else have feelings about phony things? Yeah. <laughs> I would have the same uh, comment. So it's, I'm not retired. I do have, I think afternoon meetings would be best for me also, but I do agree. <clears throat> that if we could keep it to, first of all, the last week of the month allows for all the financials to be done in time so that we don't have that issue. And, you know, if you stick to a Thursday and a Saturday, uh, again, I've we've been through all of them. We've been through what, meeting, Saturday meetings, evening meetings, afternoon meetings. Joe's comment is the most specific, I think, if you can stick to a date, and God knows I didn't always do that. Um, mostly because I was trying to react to the, put getting as many of the board members there as possible. <clears throat> but I do think a Thursday afternoon and then some Saturdays thrown in. I don't know that any evening meetings, frankly, raised the level of attendance from my experience the years I've been. Uh, maybe others have their feelings, but I, I don't know maybe that the Maybe with a late afternoon meeting. meeting. Perhaps if I was 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, something like well, that. Well, let me ask you this, Sharon. You, you have appointments at 9 o'clock in the morning? Quite often. Or I have to get back because of whatever. I mean, I, I'm working full time. No, I understand that. But, I, you know, maybe uh, maybe I just don't understand the business. I just thought it would be probably uh, more meaningful to you if, if they were morning meetings because that gives you the whole afternoon to, quite, quite to the show opposite. houses. If I, if I am, don't have to be here until after 1 o'clock, I'm better. Because I have <clears throat> multiple things, not just appointments. In, uh, and I'm the same way with conference calls. Morning is pretty well full many days. Anyway. As I said, Mike Bailey, it's not about us. It's about the membership. That's why we're doing this. I would think. I'm sure they're not doing it to get my picture to pay. The membership has done best always on Saturdays at 10. It just always worked. Everybody knew the meeting was Saturday and everybody knew it was at 10. They don't all have to be Saturday at 10. Somewhere along the line, though, we started reacting to, well, this board member that, that board member this. That's the issue when you ask you know, for opinions that you'll get opinions. six opinions. different opinions. And, that's and by right. the way, what's I have to say, the membership I don't have us. one. I don't have one. What's, I, mean, I can do, do any. You don't want to I prefer, Well, yeah, I'd like to say that. Bob? Uh, just, <laughs> we went back, Michelle and I keep track, and it's from September 2012 until August 2014. Average weekday attendance, 19.75 big rounds off, so about 19. And average Saturday attendance was six point three. Just counting the number of people at each, she keeps track of it. Last two years. Uh, from to September 2012 to August 2012. When was the last time we had a regular board meeting? A set day, set month, a set day of the month. Bang. It was way before 2012. Yeah, actually, that's incorrect. We had a public schedule for the last four years, mm -hmm. and unlike people who want to present it as if it was constantly moved was not. Oh, no, there was a schedule. No, no, there was a schedule. No, that was different. Yeah. It's Same like month. the hours of the terms grill. No, 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 We're no. open tomorrow. The, the, difference, the, difference, the difference is mindset, Tom. Huh? I got you. <coughs> you know, that's, I, I, I'm that's, all for Thursday afternoons and Saturdays, so I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem with the day it. of the week. I Anybody else on Thursday time. afternoons and Saturdays? I, I think Thursday works because we have our budget. Everything could be in to Michelle for Monday to get a time for us to get our things in a proper order. We have a weekend to work on things if we need to do something. Uh, I, I just think 
Thursday makes a lot of sense. Well, there are issues, of course, things. Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to have turkey in here. Well, we could. We've got enough. <laughs> you've got enough There's already. seven turkeys in here. <laughs> the, uh, speak for yourself. I don't, I don't uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, but I would I would think that better will have said. I think we should try Saturdays. There are people who specifically have, have you know, now you're talking about anecdotal information, for sure, but nonetheless, there have been people who express the desire to me to have a Saturday meet. They're, they're out of town, and they have some interest. At least we make the effort. I think that's a, it's a perception, perhaps. If you looked at the schedule, they simply move the Wednesday meetings to Thursday. Yes. Keep your Saturdays. Then we're pretty close. You're pretty close. Only 30% of the schedule I got is Saturday. Yeah, there are other ones, too, but uh, they're not regular board. There are but, six Saturday meetings, nine Wednesday. Right. What? Regular meetings? No, not regular. No, I said six. Yeah, not Saturday. regular. There six Saturday meetings. And you're including the annual meeting. I'm assuming you're including the meeting to the presentation of the budget. All the meetings. All the meetings. But that's, that's kind of, you know, there's nothing. The membership that attend that. We're yeah. trying to give them an opportunity yeah. to participate in governance of their, their members of their association. Yeah, the, the, budget so present, present the budget presentation, the membership does attend on Saturday. That's meant for the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The board doesn't have to attend it. No, those but are, I think in the past, we all have. The ones that aren't regular meetings, I have to point out, are kind of important. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're sort of up a level in terms of interest. So, well, let me see. We, I think we've kind of... You know, it's got a little consensus on Thursday as our regular. Well, I'm confused about Thanksgiving. Does that mean we have to share a Thanksgiving dinner with everybody in this room, or what, what does that mean? No, it's got to be have it on another day. The weekend before. Well, wait a minute. There's no, wait, you're the guy that wanted it every Thursday. Oh, Jack. Stop, no, we did. Stop, Jack. Stop, Jack. Stop it, Jack. We'll, we'll, we'll have the, uh, Michelle will work that out, and confident that she can. And uh, I would keep it all for Thanksgiving. We, can't hear it. we already know that. So we move it to the uh -huh. day before. You move it back a day. 21st and the 20th. That's awful. Oh, is it the 21st? Yeah, it's on the 21st now. No, no, no. Thanksgiving, no, no, no. Thanksgiving is the 27th. No, the meeting. I'll move it. Yeah, that's right. I'm so not trying I, to I already took care. Of, I already took care of things. I, well, I thought. I thought of that. One as long as you know, I will not be here. Because I'm out of the country. That's fine. But I just won't hear that. The October one. Then we move that back a week, so you don't miss two meetings in a row. Well, so yeah. You get the twenty third. The twenty third. Yeah. There's the twenty third. I had made a note of that right. already. When is the October meeting? Scheduled now. October 29th. You have this? You have this? Yeah, I have it right now. 20? I have it on my desk. But it should be in my calendar. So if it's the 23rd, I would appreciate that. I would be there. Not a problem. I, for anybody. Uh, Thursday. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a copy of the memo I sent you? Yes, of Did, didn't I combine 17 and 29? suggested. I'm trying to remember why. What is on the 17th? What month are you talking about? October. What are we talking about? No, we have a special meeting on the 18th. Special so meeting on the 18th? Special meeting on October 18th. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, what is that? Oh, we don't know. Is that me? The, uh, you know, that that's, it's kind of a placeholder, and it doesn't have to oh, go I on the schedule. Place you hate placeholders. But I'm just saying that my intent is that we have a special meeting on the specific subject of the CIP. And I think it's it's going to take a meeting by itself to go through. And uh, now, does it have to be October? No. Does it have to be that day? No, it doesn't. But sometime in that time period, sometime not so far away. 
Okay, that was my intent. So we have have we now moved that October board meeting twenty third? Yes, we have. What time is it? We haven't figured time. Well, we're we're going to work on times next. I I kind of again going for different things. Uh, I've got some in the morning. I've got some in the afternoon. I, I, I'll acquiesce. I mean, I, it's not important to me. What? The morning. Mornings are not important. Okay. Uh, I don't really care. I mean, Thank you, Jeff. Well, you're welcome. We want to have a conference. <laughs> well, but we have to That's the late. That's the late. That's 7 o'clock. That only impacts the 7 o'clock. And that, that's going to be the subject. Okay, morning, in answer to your question, yes. Um, I do have a shoot for it, and everybody else is that matter. Uh, and I would vote to have our at least one half of our meetings on Saturday morning. Not quite that. Close. Oh. Dave, could we go back to the executive council meeting on a Friday at 7 o'clock? I would suggest that chairs yeah. of the committees are not going to want to meet on a Friday evening. 7 o'clock? Even when we make cookies? Especially we have cookies and no <laughs> adult beverages. <laughs> I think that's a poor choice of days for the yeah. executive council. Right. Thursday, possibly. Okay. Friday, well, I would suggest it's not a good date. Just move both of those to. We're, yeah. I think we're on, that's where we're on the next one, this Friday, November 7th. If we're going in order of the meetings. I don't have that. Um, Michelle, do you have any extra copies of this? Should be in your board package. Yeah, in your board board. package? Yeah, November 7th, Friday. Oh. Um, there's no reason why it shouldn't be Thursday. There's nothing. There's nothing going on on the Thursday proceeding. I, I don't know. Uh, there was a Friday meeting, at least on the schedule that I had last year, and that's why I. Didn't know. Okay, so executive council will be Thursday, November sixth. Okay. okay, that makes sense. And the November meeting, I will be out of town. And I return the 21st. The, uh, <laughs> are we down to November 21st yet on the mm -hmm. budget yes. guidance? No, the regular 21st. Well, it's gonna be, that's going to be Thursday 21st. Yeah, what I did was I, uh, I basically combined two. Uh, 21st uh, uh, for the budget guidance and the rate. Okay, it's up to you what you want to do, but we have provided the budget guidance much earlier in the process over the last couple of years. Like September, October time frame is when the budget, because they're already working on the budget starting in September. Uh, it's up to you when you want to provide the guidance, but I, that, at least the last few years, that has been done late September, early October from the board to Bob and the team. That you're, you're going to be two months into the budget process by the time that date gets there. Well, it's up to you. It's up could, to the team. We could move it to the third regular. And I think you can vote. You can. Sure. 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 So, so let's eliminate uh, that budget guide. Eliminated, just put it up on uh, October. The only other question I had, Dave, was the volunteer appreciation night. We didn't even have it last year as the Yacht Club wasn't open, but in previous years prior to that, we were requested to have this later in the spring when everybody was back from trips and things like that. And I think in January, you miss a few people. It's up to you what you want to do. It has been done in January. No, it's up to everybody. Yeah, you, know, just, you put it out, so I'm speaking. Yeah, well, you have to have. Yeah, I think people are in Florida in okay. January. And weather is always iffy. I think we'd be safer to do I something just like it'd be April. nice in the middle of winter to go out and you know, drink up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, still do that day. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, then we have an 
official Ocean Pines drinking <coughs> day on the tour. Now, I, I, uh, I don't care. If, you think, if, you, if you've got feedback that says volunteers are better sometimes. That's what we Okay. So, well, we could make it. I got to have an idea. We could uh, make the regular board meeting on the 29th. Of what? April. Uh, change the time of that, you could have the board meeting and then have a volunteer. Are we moving all meetings to Thursday now instead of Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. So that would be Thursday the 30th? I don't have Thursday a calendar. Thursday the 30th. At 3 o'clock and then have the appreciation that night starting at 6. What was that time? Was it Wednesday? Or I'm sorry, Thursday? Thursday. 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 At what time? Three. 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 And appreciation is at seven? Or he said six, but I don't say Midnight. Midnight. It usually <laughs> starts at six. <laughs> at six. It usually starts at six. I thought I, I saw it out last year. I might have. Okay. So that's, that's a job. Okay. Friday, November 21st, are you changing that to Thursday the 20th? Is that correct? Yes. I'm sorry. No, uh, no, 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 the 23rd of October. No, and she's talking about the regular meeting. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. November 20th. I apologize. November 20th, that is a Thursday meeting, the 20th. Correct. Right. Right. And that's going to be it. Are we going with this 3 p.m. time? Yes. Yeah, let's go with the 3 p.m. time. Any metal standard. Up. As long as I'm excused. That means be my first three minutes. You all pass. Did you call on for that for the day? Yeah, did I? I thought you were out in October. I am. I leave the 25th. I arrive back here in Ocean Pines on the 21st of November. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's what, I mean, I'm just won't be. No. You can hurry. <laughs> I'm only flying <laughs> for two days. <laughs> you know what? By the way, I, you know maybe I did miss that. That may very well be why I had it on that Friday in the morning. If it was Friday in the afternoon, I could make it, but I don't want you to make a Friday meeting just for me. So it's, it's up to you. Well, we can't move it to the twenty seventh. That's thanks. No, well, I mean, we're just talking about where I had it. it was on Friday, the twenty-first, and you know she can make she can make the Now the other thought, since there is no general meeting on a Saturday in the fall. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, you know, Saturday. Marty likes Saturday meetings. Oh, okay. Saturday, September twenty-second. 22nd. You said there are no meetings. September. Fall, September. Oh, there is one in the fall. I'm, I'm Okay, I missed it. But this answers a lot of problems. Just take that Thursday meeting and make it a Saturday meeting on the 23rd. I don't have. Which one? Are we on November? We're on November. We're on November 21st. We can't move a week forward because of Thanksgiving. <laughs> So we're going to move it up a day. And so rather than add another day into this thought process, since we're trying to stay with Thursdays and Saturday. So make it a Saturday. Saturday, Diane. This one page, I've changed the meeting. Uh, All right, days. now, <laughs> give me the date, November the what? 23rd. Ah, 22nd. Good God, make that. 22 in the time. 10 a.m., right? What's the time? I don't know. Right. You asked for me, I don't know. I would say 10. All the other times he's got down is 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. That's at 9 a.m. That 9 a.m. is at 11. Okay. So this is Saturday, November 27th. Regular meeting, correct? Regular board meeting. Regular board meeting. Regular board meeting. I assume this will be about the 
to Wednesday, January 7th for the <coughs> budget presentation and we're moving that right after December. No, it, well, no. We, I think we agreed that it'd be on the same day as the break. So Thursday at 3 o'clock. So that's a, that'll be Thursday at 3 o'clock. Thursday. I'm confused. Moving the board meeting. No, this is the special. This is the one right after the Budget for the guidance. budget guidance, the budget, guidance. The, budget, the budget report read in January. Here, moving it to the eighth. Thursday, the eighth at three. Moving it to the eighth. January. We're making that Thursday, January eighth. Wow. So we're making that at uh, three. This one. three p.m. Eighth. Oh yeah, that's Thursday the eighth. That's right. January. 3 p.m. So next meeting to really go and discuss is the January 28th one, which will now become January 29th right. at 3 p.m. That's going to be combined with volunteer appreciation. No, well, not exactly. No, that's April 30th. No, April 30th. Scratch that. Oh, okay. I did have. Hey, by the way, it's passed over. It's uh, right. Yeah. 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 Ye
What's that? Regular board meeting. It was Saturday, Marty. Good, good. That's okay. Washington's birthday week. I'm sorry, Saturday, February 7th? Is that the 21st. 21st. That's February. That's February 7th. Both of those Saturday meetings stay out. 21st. Is that going up here? Uh, no, no, both of them. This one is just. This one moves up. The seven stays. The seven stays and the point first. And the 27th, Friday, final. Thursday. That's a Friday. Do you want to move it to a Thursday? Thursday. That's just what he said. Just yeah. 26 to 3. We're going to have, do we, in the past, we've had a special meeting to approve the budget. It's not even due for another 40 days. Approval. I mean, is that necessary? I don't know. I didn't make this stuff up. I'm, I'm sure you did. But, you know, sometimes if you're in a rut, you got to <coughs> The budget has to be approved 45 days before the beginning of the next fiscal year. That would be so. when? So you back the it up. The 16th of March. In the middle of March, yeah. It doesn't so have to be that when, you know, when do we do it last year? That was pretty smooth. When did we, that's how we did it last we year. No, when? Meeting. What was the date? I don't remember, but it was, was around around the time. Like it was the, like the first week of March or something. Yeah, oh, it's the end of, end of February. It was the end of February, 1st of March is what we did last year. It was a special meeting. And Bob, Bob has a good point. Okay. Uh, can we move the 26th up to the 21st? That was also in my email. That's fine with me. Why not? Last year it was Saturday the 22nd, which is a, a big board meeting. Final yeah, we did it in the meeting last year. We just eliminated the price do it. Jesus. Move it to Saturday the 21st. Mm -hmm. Well, leave it no, in, but put the dates in. in. No, yeah. no, just remember what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, if it, if, it, if it comes unspooled, we'll schedule a special meeting event. Okay. So the final approval of budget is done on the 21st. It's only, you know, you got to make your own. Well, uh, when do now. we make a presentation the no, to the, the county? Issue, the issue here. Um, their calendar is the bigger issue. No, 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 for their budget. Was it that late? Yeah. So we meet before and then do the presentation. <clears throat> we 
That's not general attendance meeting. Yeah. Wednesday, July 29th, regular meeting. Well, can you back up the meeting before on this Thursday, the July 16th GM contract review? Is that a 4.30? Keep it to 4.30 time? We can keep it until Thursday. It's Wednesday, and we can make it Thursday one, so you all remember. <laughs> but, but, but it's not a general attendance meeting. Okay. Wait, so, now, which, which date is that? The first one, uh, first July. First page. Oh, the top page. of the second page. It's not looking at that. It's Wednesday, 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 July. Right 15. now, it's Wednesday, July 15th. Yeah. Why would we just move that question to the 30th with the regular meeting? Because I think it's going to require a uh, special meeting. This is the general manager's contract. We do. I, I agree. I agree. It's going okay. to be a okay. it's going to be a closed session. Yeah, it should be a closed session. And we don't. And nobody else is coming. So, so we're still keeping it at four thirty. Is that what you want? Wednesday the twenty second. Yeah. No. No. no, Wednesday, no, Wednesday, Wednesday the sixteenth. <laughs> keeping it on Wednesday. Well, well, wait a minute. All right. All right. Thursday. Wednesday is a fifth. You yeah. move it to right. Thursday or yeah. like no Wednesday. Thursday. Let's move, Let's move it to Thursday. Thursday the sixteenth. So we won't. PM. So sometime next year. Now, well, everybody know that's my birthday. So I want a big cake, lots of candy. It is your birthday. Yes. Just at what time now? You said yeah. I bring the cake. Let's buy it by four thirty. Yeah. <laughs> four o'clock. I put yeah. three. Why well, change good thing? I mean, why? Uh, one vote. Birthday. Yeah. Then oh, you can get out in time to go to the break. Three o'clock. Three o'clock, and then we'll have time for cake again. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Burn this place down. <laughs> right. Are you going to have a clown or I'm not going <laughs> I could say something. Yeah, I know. Whoa, I'm biting my tongue. <laughs>
I like to change all the Thursdays to Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next meeting, Dave? Next meeting? Yes, it is Thursday. Saturday, September 27th. September 27th? 27th. 9 o'clock. Yeah. Room like that? yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Are there meetings in the acid peak? The A is on assignments. Okay. There's been some. Uh, there has been some modifications. Since I put out that post thing, right? okay. but it doesn't uh, matter. Got a Fox, Sharon. I mean, just pop up. And oh, say I'm no. fine. No, no, no. Say no. Yes. Ginny. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Is it okay for me to be your liaison? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Check. Okay. Uh, ARC Terry. Yep. Good. Uh, budget and finance. Commissioner is not really an official thing. Bill says he's unlike if make and uh, I think rather than assign a specific person, uh, it might try and Well, I'd like to remain. Well, you're and, on, yeah, you're and, right. and and I would open the invitation, like you know, Bill and I were opening it to anybody who wants to go down, give me a call, or if you want to go down on a regular basis, we'll share the ride if you. You know, don't have to babysit one particular day because I know you enjoyed that. Just give me a call. We'll go down together. It's not a problem. Yeah, no problem. He'll get tired of it. Oh, yeah. He'll get, him, he'll get enough of it. Wait, do your job. Your job. Find us. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Election. Uh, yeah. Secretary. Environmental party. Uh, golf Council. This is not an official, they are not an advisor. Now, before Marty says it, we know it, but nonetheless, I personally think it's worthwhile to have a presence. I agree with that. Well, are we going to have a golf advisory committee since we have a resolution and it's modified? Hey, would they have one or just not have one? Well, another discussion. No time. I thought we were discussing liaison assignments. I'm sorry. Yeah, but not whether or not we have a committee. We have a committee. Yeah. Don't have, we even don't. need to assign a liaison to it. Or oh, we are. <coughs> We're assigning Jack Collins. That's not assignment. the committee. I'm sorry. It's not. Okay. Pick, 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 pick. It's the, not picky. It's actually. I already said it wasn't the committee. I said it's the golf council and that it's wild to have presence at the council. Won't argue that council. And Jack is going to be that presence. Okay. Now, the next question. We have an advisor. Last time I was on that, I that uh, did away with golf advisor. And, uh, and well, you're saying, but show me one person that's on it. Well, yeah. No, I'm not going to show you anything. I'm just telling you that there's a bona fide committee. Like there's a resolution for it. It's in the resolutions. There's it. nobody in it. That's what he's saying. Yeah, there's no so bodies there. Yeah, they may not have pulled. Well, you know, this particular group may opt one day to do that. There was a point. Yeah, I think uh, they've opted to not do that. They may opt to not do that. They, was, they, they haven't been an official advisory committee the last four years. Yeah, doesn't I mean, mean they shouldn't be. Pete Gomsack made the thing. That wasn't around at that point. You guys were. Yeah. So it, it was, there was a motion there. It was fast that do not have the golf advisory committee or that. I don't know really? whether we suspended it. Yeah, yes. I saw it somewhere in the material. Yeah. Yeah, we'll whether we suspended happen. it or something. So, yeah, it's been four yeah, out of place. Place. But it is still in the resolutions of oh, Dave. Well, I don't doubt that. Yeah. Yeah. We could. We got to straighten out. We could revise it. 
There's a golf advisory committee on the OPA website. Yeah, I don't doubt that. That's right. Okay. That's the last time I'll agree with you. That's right. The marine activities, uh, Bill, Trout Rack and Sports, Tom. Yep. Rack and Parks. That's fine. That's good. Okay. We're all good. That's it. Okay, next topic for discussion is mine, reporting for a conduct report. Actually, it's discussion for orientation. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right, there were two, uh, if you recall, at the meeting a couple weeks ago, we talked about having the board orientation meeting. Same thing we did last year, but I thought it was beneficial. Uh, two dates I want to throw at you, uh, September 18th and 19th. And the alternative days are 1st and 2nd of October, which I think may be better at least from yesterday, uh, with some folks being announced. Did you pick September 18th for the year before? Well, that's why I'm trying to move it to the 1st and 2nd. <laughs> I, uh, I got a doctor's appointment. I can't do the 18th or 19th. Let me, uh, let me ask the first question, I guess, about the orientation. In the past, the orientation meeting, as well as I can remember, and in some cases, it's just an answer. And uh, so the question is, does it really require two days to do? I don't know. I wasn't here last year. So. Uh, Dave, I, if I may speak, first year I was on, I had any orientation. Last year, Bob had an orientation meeting, and that was my second year on board, it was two days, and it was two very valuable days. First of all, we, I learned things even though I had 40, I didn't realize. Secondly, it was kind of a melding together. We did talk about some things that say, oh, gee, maybe we should look at this or whatever, but I thought it was very valuable. And then we ended up with the tour facilities, which I think Bill will agree that was an excellent thing that we did, because when we went to actually saw all these facilities, we yeah, to see if we have an issue here, this is really doing great, or this is an improvement, or we need to consider this when the budget's coming up next year. So it was really an eye-opener for me, that tour of the facilities. Oh, um, no. I, I think the two days were valuable. I think we met until two or three. I mean, it wasn't like till six or nine. Yeah, we had, you know, in the past, tour of the facilities was part of the We said, uh, Weren't we actually three days? Two and a half days was in uh, instruction, and then the second, the no, no, second half, really the third day. Three and a half is what it ends up being. And if Paul finished up the <coughs> second day about midday, had some lunch, and had a court facility. So uh, it's about a day and a half. But we're here from legal counsel, we're here from yeah. accounting. We, I mean, there are a number of folks who are bringing in the so Q&A. You know. Did you look into that CAI? Is that? Oh, I don't have course dates. Oh. You, you said join CAI, which were. No, there's a, they have a board orientation class. You took that two years ago. Yeah. And I think it's in November, but I don't. I'll follow. I mean, that really does 30% of it But this is specific to Ocean Pines, which I think was so bad. And, and I think because that Bob brings. <laughs> We ought to be specific to the job, not... Well, I will disagree on that, Marty. Okay. Bob brought some of the head of the departments in so we can ask questions about things and brought in our legal counsel so we'd be sure we understood all the bylaws and rules and regulations, and it made it very clear. So I think what Bob did was an excellent, excellent... Oh, I'm not saying it wasn't year. great. Rah, rah, rah. Uh, there's, 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 you, we're yeah. talking about two different things. I mean, I'm very... Let's see, I have been involved in that First time to the park and, uh, uh, and, uh, and we have people come in and both respect. So, but it's it's at a broader level than obviously it has to be at a broader level because it covers all kinds of associations with all sides of the So it's just, let's put let me call that one the general principles of free. And, uh, whereas you know the well, I'm assuming this only is closer to the specific issues. Uh, uh, for it. They both fit together. There's, there's, you know, one's not better than uh, the other. So I would suggest that you find out uh, what the dates are, get that out. And uh, I, 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 uh, what thing I ran out? I have written this 
suggest that everybody takes a secret from I cannot do it with me. Yeah, with the first and second, I can. I can first and second. First and second, I can. All right, thank you. I think I'm okay. I, I mean, yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, kind of first and second. Anybody has to get back turns out no problem. Nor is it necessary for everybody to attend. So everybody's had orientation. That. <clears throat> that, I want to trip around the golf course. I promise. I did. I mean, you're going to get that. But that's a personal trip uh, around the golf course. I've already been this one. By Dave, by Dave Stevens. First and second. I can remember what the golf October. course looks like. October. Okay. Is that all right? Perfect. All right. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> Board meetings. A lot of the uh, talk about the schedule in general, about time. Uh, I am going to propose <coughs> this and if, or make a motion. Type of procedures uh, for reporting in the uh, report. Basically, the objective uh, and I have those five votes on the meeting is to make, to make more decisions. When we sit here and we have to decide, we have to know and have the information possible about what we decide. Mm -hmm. It's so so well, we, we have so to have it. We have to have it when we're making the decisions, which means sometimes for what's yes, I agree. That's about that. facilitate member understanding of the issues being discussed. So, I mean, I think it's just as important that the members who are sitting there understand what we're talking. About. Uh, focus on issues that require board decisions or actions, and I think again. If there's no action, if there's no decision, then we have to question why it is a reason for having it. Well, there may be another reason. It could be for information purposes. But I think we have to look a lot harder. Provide continuity from meeting to meet another issue. Um, if something happens at the end, we want to be able to remember that, carry it over to the next and re reduce the uh, duration of it, so that's pretty obvious. So, I mean, thank you. I, I, I checked my mailbox for it. It was in your board package. This is this package. It should have been. It was in the gray, did you get your gray box? Cool. I tried it in the gray box. It was yeah. in the Friday. All right, meeting materials, all motions, discussion topics, reports, presentations, and supporting material shall be provided to the board in the board packet at least three days prior to the meeting. To the extent possible, these materials shall also be made available to members of the uh, members of the uh, At a very minimum, they should be made available uh, or as handouts on the day of yeah, not just to the media, but to the, the attending well, I, public. I think I the think members and the media. We're, 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 the media, we're reasonable. That we, yeah. yeah. That that's I mean, that's one way to distribute it. The other way is uh, website. Uh, the website. I don't want, I just want to get the idea of this. That's right. Ways. You're not real specific. Presentations and reports. Do you, you want re reactions to? Uh, absolutely. Section absolutely. by section? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to the materials, I just want to make sure we're, we're clear here that if we're CPI jumps to mind, all motions having to be written up in advance, meaning somebody's going to have to write a motion for the CPI actions that Bob brings to the board to look at. The materials are in your in, in the built board packet. So we would have to get the CPI materials. I'm just trying to work through this well, because then you'd have to get the CPI. You'd have to get the CPI materials for us to look at it prior to the board packages going out, so that the motions would be in the board packets. So is CPI exempt from 
the three-day notice as part of the process. Because otherwise, the CPI stuff's going to have to be in our box like a week in advance because someone, probably myself, being the art liaison, would have to write the motions. Not that I'm against doing that, but I mean, if that's what we want to do, then that's one that we have to have that work done prior to the board packets going out. So the motions can be written or CPI exempt. I, I, I'm not going to say that, but, uh, I, and I believe it is. I think we have to work. This is going on a long time. I think we have to work on CPI processes and procedures. That's fine. To that extent, I think they might be exempt. They, in other words, I'm not concerned about the motion. I mean, basically, what we're concerned about is the information that we're going to decide on. And that's what you want to advance, preferably. No, well, I mean, I'm just to mean not trying to, I'm just reacting to the words as I read. It yeah. said all motions need to be in the board packets, written up. So they go in the board package three days prior to the meeting. That would require that to be done. The same thing when it comes to purchasing motions to purchase vehicles based on the budget. I'm assuming Jack would have the responsibility of writing the motions for the procurement that Bob would be presenting to us for us to okay. That would be so that we would know three days in advance what it is. I have no problem with that. I'm just trying to make sure I understand that. I think we all know what we're going to need to do in order to live up. It's, it's difficult, but again... I'm not saying it's not doable. doable. I just want to make sure we understand that what at least two of us are going to have to be doing yeah. to make this work. When you're talking about it, CCCPI, the package tells you where you're going. Now, Bob doesn't do a motion, but he does do a presentation and asks for a release. Yeah. I don't think there's any surprises there. No, so we no. have to have that package well before the meeting. I understand that. We need to look at it. By the way, this does not uh, supersede the bylaws or, the, uh, or Robert's rules. I mean, you can still make motions at the meeting. Right that was now. my question. And that, that's exactly <laughs> true. Yeah, and that, that goes without saying. Yeah, you can do and, that. So, and I think you're right. CPI items do fit. The motions fit, but the materials that they support the motion no doubt. should be uh, given out in advance. And the same for procurement. Just Bob, sure again, I guess, really can't make the motion, but he's making right. a recommendation that we buy a police car. If we know that a week in advance. Somebody at not, the meeting can make the motion. Okay, that's right. and it'll just, it'll just so go. what you're saying, then, all motions do not have to be in our hands three days in advance as much as possible, but we are allowed to make motions at the Is this the same? No, all no. motions, yeah, it does discussion all topics, motion. reports, presentations, and supporting materials shall be provided at least three days prior to the meeting. I have a problem because I think there are cases just like what we're talking about. Things come up and we need to have a discussion. And if a motion is proposed, it may not be what we really want to do after we discussed it. Yeah. Yeah. But then we can't have another motion submitted because it hasn't been presented three days well, in advance. That's not true. So Robert's I'm, rules, which is dictated. That's why I want a clarification from the president. That's what I'm asking. I think the, the clarification uh, is that motions still can be named at the as as per, I think just name a couple of cases where they are. In other words, the material that will support the decision is what's important. Not motion itself. Motion itself is just an administrative thing that they put forward. So, you know, it, it would almost be easy enough to do, but never forget that. There will be other cases, motions of that nature will be brought up. But what's inappropriate, though, is to make a motion on a significant decision where all the information <coughs> is provided. And we're the board. Uh, basically is making up its mind about that. And, as I've seen many times in the past, where the motion is just scribbled out, and at the end of it, Bob, you've seen this too. And if somebody says, well, did anybody write that down? It's important. Well, Robert's you, rules, it's got to be written down. got to be written down. Why don't the board read its own resolution? 
Well, I have read it about five times. Uh, the uh, okay presentations and reports. Okay, the first sentence in here, I want to make sure that the, those proposed for inclusion on the agenda so be approved by the board in advance. You're not proposing that agenda items need to be accepted by the board to be on the agenda. What does that, because this reads like I've got to submit uh, a motion to the board to accept it in advance of it going on the agenda. I don't think that's what you meant, but no, the but approved by the board is what I'm asking about. Yeah, no, there's not a formal vote that's made by that. Right now, the agenda development is a uh, province of the secretary, president. Correct. And what I intend, uh, there will be, uh, let's say, presentations that are going to have one day. So in general, we could have any number of people who want to present things to their conduct. But it's still a board meeting, and you have to try and focus in on what it is you're what is important. So, yeah, I will try and get a sense, and I think I'll already have that sense of what really, uh, really wants. I mean, you could get a presentation. I mean, this has happened long in the past. And uh, basically, it's trying to, we're, oh, I mean, for that matter, that people outside of the uh, association who have wanted to come in with their presentation. And I think that you have to get a sense of course, whether or not we want to hear those. I think it's our time, and it's diverting from other people. Can I shorten that paragraph? Sure you no surprises. That's all I think you're trying to say. No surprises. Yes. You know, the last couple of years have been Well, no, Tom's very well, Tom's quite right that, that I say a little bit more, more than that. It's like a two-fold thing. No surprises is definitely the first. Sure. But the second thing is, do we really want to hear it? I mean, and that, that definitely can and will come up. I mean, is it appropriate at this point? time uh, to get a presentation. Well, let's just, I just want to make sure that we're in agreement on one thing. If a member of this board of directors wants to bring a topic to the agenda of this board of directors, they have the right to do it. Yes, they do. Okay. As long as we're all in agreement with yeah, that, yeah, I'm yes. good. Okay. And I think, though, that, well, I Follow that second sentence. Those submitted by a member shall have the board sponsor. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, same thing. The Both rest of this, I was saying, just that yeah, approved yeah. by the board part. It was kind of I raised my hand. What is that? Mean? Okay, the second part refers to the general managers. I want to go back to something. Just written. Uh, written reports given to us in advance, um, suggested topics and those reports of things that I was curious about given to you in both for the date and the um, If you have a special topic that requires a presentation, those shall not require presentations. If you have one, it does require needs more detail for some reason. That should be submitted uh, in advance. And it should be put on the agenda as a second topic, not as part of the agenda this presentation. To clarify that um, for my behalf, if we need a vote for a budget item, please correct me something mentioned earlier. Where yes. where does that go? Separate item. Separate item. Yeah, listed. Now you might combine things. You're not going to necessarily put an agenda item for every police group. Or, or it could be a, uh, a an agenda item, uh, broad topic of procurement purchases and uh, and bullets underneath. And 
I get that so, might be able to put it in an hour or just forget about it. Well, I guess it's clarified for you. If, if, if needed, please do general manager will not make a report except for any procurement request that he gets or specific things he needs ordered by yeah. some. We will have a spot on the agenda for the general manager, just as we do that. We will have had in advance a narrative report, such as the one we'll have. Which he will not read or present. We will what start at the beginning. We can start at the beginning. Well, several I mean, he can, we can start at the beginning and say, are there any questions on specific issues? Or he can start down and say, go. And not necessarily read the report, but basically give the gist. Or he can say, go, any questions on that. And there will be. Okay. It should. He can also, as he goes down into parks and rent, he can also make specific points that might be not the narrative. Wait a second. Yeah, I also not wait a second, but but also I want to bring up this this. this. I mean, we're not trying to slow down or uh, reduce the amount of information for the yes. And I've I've been on boards for three years for this stuff, and never was an issue. Never. Thought. And uh, by the way, I mean, what's the reason for doing it? It's fast. It's faster and zeroes on in on the information that we need. It also, I'm just looking back at these presentations. Some of them are really great, but the February 22nd meeting, we had four pages, four pages of the general manager report that dealt with Manklin Meadows tennis. I never saw it until the meeting. It's really hard to be prepared at the meeting to discuss. I mean, then we're, what we're relying on is what we're hearing, and we can't do our due diligence. I mean, I want to see the stuff in advance. Job. Yeah. Otherwise, why are we here? Well, I guess sometimes it's going you know, to happen. Fox situation where there's something. Going oh, on. there's emergencies. You know, we had you had the three groups all agree to one thing in this kind of situation, and all of a sudden. Monkey wrench is from me. Now that might have happened after three days after we put the report out. So I think in that particular instance, he has to have a right to go up and say, Hey, I'm sorry, my report says this, but. And and if, if that should be the case, uh, you know, sir, ask Bob if there are any conditions and some narrative sheets to say, Yeah, this is this, this. And that would have happened in that period since we've had the report. It's not hard. I'm talking about common sense here, really. The, uh, uh, the, the idea that there not be a, it's specifically written, <clears throat> that there not be a presentation by the GM where it's not required. Um, you know, I've served on boards at executive levels as well, and I've never served on one or served, worked with or in a corporation 
that didn't have PowerPoint presentations to executives that were overviews of what was going on. By the CEO? Yes. By the GM? <laughs> yeah. No, by specialists within the individual corporation that focused in that particular area, where they brought that expertise to the level, where they brought that expertise to the level of the board. And it was done in a form of information in order for the board to be aware of what's coming down the road in the future, not necessarily for a decision that has to be made that particular day. Arguing that. Well, I don't this know what board you served on, but you know, I'll tell you what, if, if you're saying that critical issues are brought to a board for a board to make a decision that day, I, I would say that that corporation had a hard time getting a decision done. Based on my experience, now, Tom, you know, it might be different for you. Um, <clears throat> um, obviously, I'm referring to the sentence that says a presentation by the GM is not. I'm simply reporting that my experience has been that you get an overview of what's going on in the community from the guy who's running it day to day. Doesn't mean, that, and this goes back to at the top of the document where the reference is made that we only talk about things that we need to make decisions. You are correct. Over the last few years, we have had general discussions at the board level to have a sense of what was going on in the community that did not end with a motion for us voting yes or no on something. You're correct. We did. And there was a purpose behind it so that the board of directors would have a sense of what's going on in the community. I'm not against the write-up. It's a good idea. I'm not against that at all. I'm simply saying to flat out say there's no presentation from the general manager on the state of the that. nation of what's going right on. He didn't say that. He says the presentation's not required. <laughs> Maybe everything he has to say is right here. Okay. We've read it. We've understood it. We can ask questions on it. Uh, and, and, and that becomes... That becomes a presentation right. in and of itself, Tom. Yeah, but it, you got my feedback. Oh, no, that's all right, Tom. 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 Well, obviously, <laughs> Verizon's a failure. Tom, I didn't expect. I, mean, I, I, know, I, it's know, Verizon. I know what's been happening. Uh, and I've been on a good portion of the year. Yeah, yeah, sure. I perfectly well understand that this is a problem. That's fine. And, and, but it's not something that I just pulled out of my head. It, Something that fact that works, I guess, successfully. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is correcting several issues uh, and several problems. And in terms of, by the way, getting a general state of the community, which you may not be able to get from this secondary narrative, I would suggest that that's not what they're there. We're there, we're there to look at specific information and specific discussions which would lead at some point to specific actions. And I think if we focus on we will get more things done and we will spend less time doing it. That's what I think. And I'm suggesting that we we'll try it. Fair enough. Um, okay. Fair enough. Sharon. Yeah, my concern is, okay, I'm fine with the written report. I think that that's a good start. An excellent start. But my also concern is that we've got people in OPA TV land who are listening to this on their website uh, or are listening to it on live TV, and they don't have the benefit of this written report in front of them. Uh -huh. So how, how do you propose that we get this information out to them? The Aquatics Committee just did this, or the Recreation Department just got this award, or the Police Department, or we're the best safe city. And I mean, how do they get this information? Just tell me how, how this is going to get to them. General managers are distributed to the meeting as well as possible three days in advance. It'll be published on the website and it'll be available at the door when you come in the meeting. Everybody gets to follow up. So Bob cannot make any comments that are not written down here? Is that what you're saying? As a matter of fact, I just said the opposite of that. And I, thought, I guess I didn't hear anything. Well, what I said was, obviously, as you go down this, Bob may say, look, here's something I need to add in this paragraph. But we'll be looking at paragraphs. We'll look at it and say, okay, and here's, here's what I need to add. And as you go down further, we may say, 
well, wait a second, what about this? We'll ask the question and answer. It's not, but the point is, we're interacting. The problem with the presentation, not Bob's presentation, but not Bob's any uh, presentation, is that its content is controlled. The content of pace is pretty much controlled by the person that's given. And moreover, comments that are made by the presenter or others during the presentation are not uh, basically written down and, and, and copied. So, you know, basically, how many times do we have to go back to a meet to find out what happened by looking at the videos? A lot of times. A lot of times. We've all probably done it, and we all had it. So, it is a suggestion, but I understand. Dave, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, we want to do this every board decides how it wants to function. If you guys want to function this way, now we got. We'll try. No, we're all gonna. We're well, all gonna, I mean, we'll have a motion. motion. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> obvious <laughs> where this is going. Okay, uh, so I'm saying I'll support it. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's fine. As long as I just, as long as we got some clarifications of agenda items and things. Let me move down to the financial reports. Now, this is something we've already discussed <clears throat> by email, mm -hmm. uh, and this is uh, the. Is there a presentation on this, or is it simply the financials are made available? Uh, quarterly financial reports are generally given in the form of a presentation. So that's the way we but, but they wouldn't be part of the general manager's report. They would be a separate so, item. Yeah. Uh, and who will be making and, that report to treasurer? And more, moreover, uh, the monthly uh, monthlies, uh, probably not. So who's that's what we've been the, doing. Who's doing the quarterly financial report? Is that the treasurer? You're uh, getting them from a part. Yeah, it's not a matter. Uh, my preference. I, I, the question sorry, is, I think my, you just said he's making a my presentation. Preference, my right? preference would be our karma, but I'm going to leave that to Bob. So there is a presentation mm -hmm. quarterly to That's go over the numbers and for us to talk about. Yeah, they are required. They are required. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. Um, however, you're missing the other point, which I'll be posted on the LP. I haven't done it. And, I saw, and when I was asked the question, I just couldn't think of a reason for well, that. If I chime in, I make sure. Uh, the, the out of courtesy for board members who immediately get asked questions or immediately are expected no information uh, when the financials come out, I've held off from sharing it with anyone other than board members for the first one, two, three days, depending on the board. It's just out of courtesy for the board. If the board doesn't want that courtesy, it's just easy for me to put it up. My whole thing, and I've never worked anywhere where the board has, has not been given information a little ahead of time so they can get their arms around before they're asked by, by membership, you know, explain this or what about that. So my intent of a, a couple-day delay was a professional courtesy. If that's not needed at this point, it's just easy for me one way or the other. The report's the report, no matter who gets it and when they get it. Uh, but it just gave you all a, a couple days heads up to get ahead of it if there are any questions or concerns by members. Yeah, okay. that's, the screaming could start early. If, uh, I mean, I, I understand that. Doing it it. And I agree with that. But personally, I don't mind telling somebody I haven't, you know, I just don't know because I haven't read the report yet. Uh, I don't mind that. But on the other hand, I also don't mind the built-in delay getting it and posting on the website. We're, we're still getting it on the website so that everybody can see it. Well, that's not what this says at the same time. So yeah, I same time, not going to pose anything else. There's no reason anybody in this room or somebody sitting over Taylor's having a beer right now is it just as entitled as I am. Again, Marty wasn't here just to clarify. I, I told them I delayed it for a couple of days that, right, yeah. as a professional courtesy to board members. That was the only reason. I understand that. Uh, I, I don't think it's necessary. I, I've got five or six years on I don't remember the first phone call from anybody catching me short on the phone. Well, that's because, <laughs> because nobody, nobody has been getting the numbers before a board, including the board. Uh, <laughs> That's, that's not, not correct. Case ever. That's not even close to being no. right. I, we've always had. That's not even close to being right, Dave. Well, that is not quite old. true. We've had right. two meetings this year where there have been the 
But as soon as the reports have been availed, Marty yeah. began as soon as they're available. the show. <laughs> and it's, they're, they're here. I mean, she's within minutes of her receiving. Yeah. Can, I ask, can I ask, let's let's push this down into specific questions. I mean, I have no problem at all building a you know, one-day delay that people really feel comfortable that. And the Marty would project to it, but you know, it just doesn't make that much difference. Uh, I, as long as, but the number right now, the numbers aren't there. Period. <laughs> I mean, they're not there as of today. They're not there as of today. Okay, so that's one they're not today. due today. <laughs> No, 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 no. Last month's number. Last month's number. Last month's number. Last month's month's before and all of them. <laughs> so that's the change. Before you're talking about them being on the web page, that's correct. I agree. I put them up. But okay. No and and if, if Bob wants to put in a, a one day delay, get them to the board first, and then a day later, you know, make them available or put them up web page. Up and we can do it. Yeah. Any way the board wants. Well, I am. I am satisfied to write that into this. To say to uh, to have that happen, it doesn't. Yeah. Jack, you're the treasurer. What do you say? Well, the, the, I think that the important thing that we're trying to accomplish is informing the membership as to what is happening in terms of the numbers, in terms of progress, in terms of the finances of the uh, of the organization. And I appreciate Bob's point in that he's trying to be courteous to a bunch of to, to a bunch of people, board members, and indicating that he's you know holding it back until they see it and they review it, and then he gets it out. However, um, he, I also agree with David that it is in the best interest of most people within this community put that information out to the public. And the best way to do that that we know is through the website. And as far as the timing is concerned, I leave it up to the, uh, you know, the organization as far as Bob is concerned and the president as far as how he feels comfortable in, in uh, allowing that information to be posted on a timely basis. And that's all. And he's pro- probably trying to be convenient to you, Bob. I mean, he's probably trying to not put pressure on you and, the you know, the many jobs that you have. But, but, but the bot... Mm-hmm. Which, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Well, it doesn't matter. No, it, 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 it wasn't being rude. I mean, uh, that, that's okay. That's okay. I think he's trying to be accommodating to you, Bob. That's what I'm trying um, to say. I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, Jack. No. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying. I am not trying to be unaccommodating. No, no, I understand. <laughs> but I, what I am trying to do is make a point. Moving along. Right put in a day of delay. Yeah, put in. I agree with Marty. Okay, we do understand that. Yeah. How many people going to call you? You can build in a day delay. That official policy now. Not yet. There will be. The board voting on it. Yes. I think I think the vote is called for given the amount of discussion. It is on the next page. And it, it is on the next page. Oh yeah, the last thing, but gets one of his actions. Um, at, at the end of the... How we get number five? Back up. Public comments. Five. Missed five. Public comments. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. Uh, per board resolution BO2, these shall be limited to five minutes. And, uh, and directed to the chair. That's a rule, believe it or not. And rules of decorum apply. Is already in there. Board members and GM may respond to requests for information, but shall not engage in debate. To that so, point, Dave, yes. are we good to, and I have no problem with this, that we are to turn to you that it's okay for us to respond to someone at that point? I'll and not. Yeah. Will not? I think, okay. I mean, and, and as long as it's information exchanging hands, it's fine. It's fine. But, you know, in the heat of battle, yeah, you know. I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking. So, so it's going to flow through the chair. It should flow through yes, the chair. Yes, it should. Can we get another timer like you said? I've got one right on my cell phone. I wonder. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. I got a little picture for. That's what that's what Phyllis used to do. <laughs> yeah, Phyllis. Yeah, Phyllis. <laughs> 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 
Action items. At the end of each meeting, the board check the secretary of the shall review any actions for result. The secretary will maintain a pending action. This is you, Pat. She shall actually you know, really need help. Yeah, I'll get together for sure. And, uh, and we'll maintain a pending action list to use in the setting of the agenda for future meetings and reporting. So, in other words, we talk about something. Say okay, we won't agree if we want to do this, or we'll do this. So we shall, and preferably by a specific date, but not always by a specific. Date. Sometimes, or you know, can't pin down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The point is that it gets down on a on a list. Now, what we've done in the past, eh, and it was kind of ugly, as I recall, is that we uh, we go down um, that. Pending action list is a part of every meeting, and uh, it took a long time. I don't, I don't know that. that I'm, I'm not sure that uh, somebody could bring it up. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, it might be used to, uh, as an input for your general manager to say, "Hey, by the way." spread out. Would you like to sit here or would you prefer to stand? What's comfort for you, Jenny? Sit? Okay, let me move my stuff.
Okay, well, you all got the report <coughs> that we recommended on numbers swim, uh, and swim racket issues. Uh, here's a little substitute information to go around with them. I'm sorry they're not copies, but you can pass it around. In the last few days before the season ended at Swim and Racket, there was a very big crack appeared in the wall at Swim and Racket. And it was hung, supported at the base, but it leaned out from the wall. And lots of little chips of uh, plaster that were in that tank. This is a picture of it up here. This is another picture. And the wall was at the <clears throat> near the um, lifeguard stand as you enter the pool. Okay, so fortunately we made it through the season, thank God. But this was a pretty big chunk, something like that. And I assume it's still there. The other side, which also had another problem, this is the deep end. And there is a line, a dark line here. That's the crack happening in the deep end right below the target here. So I thought you might like to see those. And uh, we all know that Swim and Racket's plaster job, which was performed in 2010, was not the best. Yeah. We've had problems with it every year. And every year we have prepared it, and it has not made it through the season, basically. Had to deal with it again. Turtles. Nice cute turtles. They like the turtles. Okay. That was covering. On the other side of this piece are the holes in the epoxy at school. Now, there are presently four of those holes, and there's a dark spot under them, which means there's space under them, and I have not examined that. We should look at that. But those are all along the window wall where the water collects. And, uh, anybody is around here members what we did to that pool in order to uh, deal with the uh, cement work that was along the wall. We replaced it with epoxy and it took us three times to get the job right so it wasn't too slippery and deep fall but it never got leveled properly or pitched to drain. So I just was going to send that around for you to look at. Those are situations that are currently happening. At the, uh, <clears throat> one first landing was uh, supposed to be fixed this this uh, fall, this winter, or this spring rather, and we then have gotten a uh, a new ADA entry. And we still do have that, worked very well. But when it came time to deal with plaster on the company that was doing it said that there was uh, too many voids in it and therefore they could not guarantee that they would get it done in time. And Bob came and gave us a report on that and we decided as a committee that we just simply should prepare what we had and consider this for this fall next year. Okay. So that's where we are with that. Meanwhile, Sports uh, Swim Racket is also having its problems, and since they are now, so we're, then we suggested in our report that it might be a good idea to combine the work on Swim Racket and Mumford, since they were both plaster issues in the main, no, there's some other issues there, to uh, go ahead and see if we could get a better price because we were bidding on two pool pairs, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of where we left it. And uh, I'm just here to kind of reiterate that to you. Uh, meanwhile, we have been working on sports core, and uh, that is a combination effort on repairing the deck and repairing the pool itself. Plaster in sports core is in very good condition considering that it is uh, visibly wearing wet. But there have been no points countered in that. It was the same surface that has been on well, since before we covered it in 2007. 
So uh, what you can see through the plaster now is yellow stains, which are the bond coat being exposed. And then, of course, actual concrete, which is where concrete has been worn away completely. And it's a pretty, but it needs care. It's some new stuff. So we are not completed with that report yet. But we'll, and we have had people come in and look at the pool and give us suggestions, helpful suggestions. But what we have discovered is there's some uh, <clears throat> products out there now that we could take the deck as it presently is and cover it with those products. And we don't have complete information on that. And I certainly to visit. I want to see how these uh, products work with uh, with slipperiness and other issues and wear and whatnot. But two of the products that we have heard about, we've seen some of, are one called Peptech, which is a thermopopular polymer compound. Uh, and that came to us by one of our gentlemen who came in to look at our pool and give us some suggestions. He had seen the product on Maryland Capital Parks and Planning pools in D.C. area. And he said that he was very impressed with it. He said that looks good. And it's a product that you can mend. It's a product that can be troweled on. Any of you who are familiar with the deck at, at Sports Corps know that these are things these are issues for us. Uh, we don't have a level deck. We don't have a good edge. We do not have a coping edge on them. And now the uh, call... Like old, old <laughs> I know. I, but uh, the issue now, too, is once we do something to that deck, you're probably going to be restricted to require the people. That's, we barely got away with one that's in the racket. And there's just about a big edge. But if we do anything to the deck at uh, Sports Corps, we're going to be required to do that. And one of our gentlemen has suggested a stainless steel gutter rather than the place pair, place to the 12 switch that exists there. That's that the deck, the gutter will provide things. Consulting all this now to see. And this is really an update for you all. We are working on it, and uh, we had tentatively planned, I think, for next summer to compare sports court. And uh, that, of course, is something to talk about. And uh, I think it is a budget uh, sports court, but we don't have prices on it. Eventually, I have done a report, and I want to comment that um, one of my committee members, Gary, has uh, developed a book for us. It's very nice. Each pool is pictured. Each pool has all measurements, diagram. And when I've written to uh, various people to ask them to come look at our facilities, I've been able to send them pictures. Well, I've been able to send them the diagrams, been able to tell them exactly what they are going to see when they come, and therefore what I want from them in terms of advice. And all of this is strictly advice. It's to give us ideas of what, give us an idea of what it might cost. It's not an RFP. Not uh, the yeah. So that's just but Gary did a very nice job with this. So now we have this as a aid that we can send out. It really helps to see what you're trying to bid on, and we wanted people to come and look at the facility. There's many, many, many points about uh, racket. Well, they're quite good, but to look at trying to prepare a deck that has holes in it and skimmers that have to be drilled out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's another issue. And anybody 
thinks about fitting something needs to know. We need to know what to look at. So that basically is where I am. And I thought it was a good opportunity to share and ask me if I wanted to address the board. This is a good idea to <coughs> see members of the board. Not that you're new to me, but okay, if I work for you. Yeah, I'm really so. old. <laughs> well, I'm getting older by the day. As a matter of fact, I won't be 80 in two months, so no. it's time to retire. We're having a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are going to have a party? Thank so, you very much, Jenny. Any, any so questions? I'm wondering if Bob has any input on this because yeah, I know he's been working uh, on this. So. We've been working with Ms. Jenny and the committee. Uh, we're aware of the issues. Uh, the committee's done a great job um, like helping us identify possible solutions. So it's, it is one of the groups that I mean, we just worked with. And, uh, from a project standpoint, uh, if you all recall, part of the, the and Ms. Jenny brought it up, part of the issue was we started getting from up to school, we realized they had ground down to the base, not just the, well, we're going to put the diamond right and then pull them up, so we decided to wait, uh, do that later. Just because uh, two, there were two thing, factors that came out, uh, the contractor, when they came out, uh, had bid on one price, but then wouldn't want to work once they got into it. There were were the, points that they yeah, so. So they decided uh, they came back with another bid, but we were they were already in, in repair mode, uh, putting in the zero entry. So we decided to wait at that point, so we could bid out, pull again, taking it clear down to the base code. So that's the process we're working on. That pool, uh, swimming racket, uh, we've had ongoing problems there unnecessarily. The, whatever reason, that plastic job just has been failing since shortly after. From the get go. And we've done everything we could. Now, if we did budget to, to do repair work at both schools. Uh, it's our intent, and, and we talked about timing of these. Uh, and one of the things, as I read many reports, you know, one of the things we talked with the uh, head of our public works as well as uh, head of product, new head of products, uh, talked about when to get to the work, what to do. Uh, we're in agreement. Uh, that the work needs to be done. Our timing is a little bit different, but as Ms. Finney actually said it, I mean, it's, they, they have some flexibility as well. Our goal was to start the spring for this reason only. We don't have budget for the pool covers this year. And but we've agreed that moving forward with any pools that we redo, we want to get a pool cover. We found that the Yacht Club went through a lot of uh, uh, steps was the right thing to do was to cover the pool. It worked out great for us this season. When we went to open it, the, the turnover to open it was very quick. Uh, and, and maintenance was so much nicer with the cover point. Safety, maintenance, the whole nine yards. So we think we're on a good path there. And we agree. Uh, when I say we, I'm, I'm looking at this day with the products that anything we do to the pools, if we refinish them, refurbish them, replace them, whatever it's going to be, we will do a cover right behind. So our, our intent, when I say ours, from the staff side, was to start put an RFP out over the winter months, uh, do start the work in as early as March. From the, the basically, they have to strip the, the coating off the pool down to the base or the shell of the pool and start over with redoing it. That's the only way, at least the one contract, and we feel that's going to be the same with this uh, swimmer act to get the actual warranty for the new diamond bright finish. So it's our intent to do that. Uh, they can start stripping pools down even prior to uh, the, the, the warmer months coming. The key is to get the, the application of the diamond right on in time. Uh, and we feel we start uh, the project sometime in March time frame. We'll have plenty of time to do it. In addition, we, have, we haven't budgeted for pool covers, and that's one of the things we've identified for this year for both of those pools in the budget process as part of the request is to ask for the covers. Uh, a couple of things by waiting to spring to do it. A, we don't have a set, even though they'll be done in a, a pool cover, we put, they would be put on as an unbudgeted request. Secondly, if well, it's unused for six or seven months at that point, or six months, depending on when the work is accomplished. We'd rather have it open and usable right after the finish is done, uh, so we can monitor it through the summer months, make sure there's any conditions that we're concerned about button it up. We'd like to do that, and it also meets our budget so that's the only area we have even a little. Uh, Can yes. I uh, yes. say something? Yeah. yeah, go ahead, John. The committee has a, a different opinion. <laughs> Our opinion is that 
we would like to start the work for the winter months because we're concerned that if we if we could do or the, the project can begin the uh, grinding down of the plaster <laughs> to the shell can begin uh, in the winter and that way you then attach the bonding and the plaster in the spring and you the pool covers you don't need till next year because the pool won't be completed <laughs> until the spring but if we put the RFPs out now and do the grinding in the winter and then in the spring they place the plaster then we have more confidence that the pools will be ready by Labor Day I'm sorry Memorial Day yes. where if we wait and start the whole project in the spring I'm not sure they'll be ready that's our that's the is am I right is that the committee's concern it's one of the things we discussed I was just about to mention that to uh, Bob to to see if uh, talking then by what that's a two Thing, what divides that way? Well, not. I think it should, and it might be just a way to get that stuff out because that makes a lot of trash. You are blasting off plaster, either sand blasting, you've got the sand, or your water blasting. And point to to the RFP, and in advance we might then find out whether that is or not. Just a thought. We yeah. certainly talk, and it's probably wise to talk to one. Contractors have one they, about once you strip it down with conditions, you leave it over winter with uh, a cold winter, a storm winter, whatever. The case well, you have to fill it back up at least part. Of, you yeah. know. And that's what we did. You know, what what does that do? Additional. Well, that's the reason why I say we should ask, and it might allow us to facilitate that. That gives you more time. And to make uh, zero. What's the busiest time at your facility? And what's spring, the spring. least busy time? Spring. That's why we. Uh, I mean, right now is the time to make your buy and go for We're in cat for a seat if we had this RFPs out. Because right. now is the time to do it. I mean, these people are sitting on their hands after they close these up, looking for work. Next in May, they're April. They're not looking for work. All right. Dave, may I have to say something? I, I think we're all pretty much saying the same thing. I think Bob is under the concern of studying and getting an RFP. Don't Mike rep that you're this is what you're planning to do. You're planning to get an RFP done once you analyze it with your team as to what needs to be done. And one of them is the research. Can you leave it open in the fall and do it in the spring? What does that do? Do you have to fill it, not fill it? And there's a lot of elements that we don't have the answers for, Mark. So I think we all want to get the RFP. We want to vote on it. So we want to get this process because I think we're totally in agreement with what John had to say. Nobody wants those with Memorial Day coming and not a pool open. So if we don't start now, it won't be done. So if, if there's an RFP done in a timely manner after you've done your research and talked to your team as to what's done, come to us for our vote on it. And then we've got to go get the building permits and whatever time frame the county's involved in that. And that is an unknown for me. I don't know what your time frame might be. And then we're dealing with, are we dealing with winter weather? I mean, I, I don't know what the timing is with the weather. But if we have the contract able to give it out and able to start as soon as possible, it might be February 1st. It might be March 1st. It might be November 1st. I don't know. But I think that we... What, the committee's wanting, and I think what you're saying is you want to get this thing started with the process. We've always said we were going to start this in right. the fall. Yeah. Let me mention that. So uh, putting an RFP out in a week or two doesn't change. We still have some research to do. We just finished the summer season. We're rolling into fall. This is one of our, our areas that we realize we, we've, we've identified. It's in the budget. We'll get it done. Uh, actually, the month was leading was not. Not what? The Mumford's Landing Pool is not in the budget. Actually, it is. It was already a budget. It's not in the budget. I okay. have a copy of the budget. Here, here's, what, here's what I'm going to tell you. The board is <coughs> well aware of it. It was in the 13 14 budget. So we found a larger amount worth it done. We decided to wait, not spend that money, and do a carryover. The board's well aware of that. So he may be correct. It's not this year's budget, but 
the end of the last budget season, we didn't spend the money because we recognized more work needed to be done, so we delayed in spending the money until the fall of this year. So it was a budgeted item. We just delayed the expenditure to make sure we're doing it right. And uh, since you already have a relationship with uh, over, uh, SPA, uh, they used to do numbers. That question you want to ask them about uh, is it okay to give me fuel in fall, fill it, and then start at the end, start the process of replacing the plaster in the spring? It's sufficient. That's, that's what I said. Tom, you had a comment? Yeah, I mean, it, it actually it leads to the discussion that just happened. It has to do with the <coughs> One of the things that, that I believe we need to look at as an organization is the concept of grandfathering or escrowing budgetary dollars that are not expended within a fiscal year. And just as an example of Bob was just talking about where it became a better decision while it was in this year's budget, we'd already passed the budget for the next year by the time that decision happened. We passed budgets in February, they don't take effect until 45 days or more later, and at that in that period of time, there was a change that we, you know let's not let's not rush to spend the money when it's the wrong time to spend it. So organizationally, you know, Jack, I think we need to take a look at what can we do operationally within our management of money to put together a grandfathering or an escrow process that allows money from this year's fiscal year that was not spent. Quote unquote, it's money in the bank that we've got, but it needs to be spent in another fiscal year, and it happened after the budget was already passed for that next year. So that's the situation we're in. So that was why I was going to ask you where are we budgetarily? But you're it's not you're exactly jumping out where of we are. Yeah. It's because we don't, we budget this stuff, but we don't do it. There was no budget for monthly <laughs> planning pool last year. What we did last year was we took money from the sports court pool that was budgeted and put it toward the Montford's landing pool that wasn't budgeted. We okay. did that February 22nd. Okay. And because of the late start, the pool didn't get done. Now, yes, it opened on time, but it wasn't done. The sports court pool wasn't done. Now, we can keep opening our facilities till they collapse. <coughs> Yacht club. Country club. Or we can get this stuff off that center and do it. I don't think we're, uh, anyone's in disagreement. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. We're all in disagreement. I just heard about ten reasons why we ought to put it off until next spring. Uh, no, that's not what we're saying. That's not what I'm saying, saying at all, Marty. Not, yeah. By the way, yeah, on your comment, I was about to express it better than I expected. Thank you. That's a long standing issue. And it's been misused. Yeah. You know, everybody's, when I say misused, that's not really a great right word. I mean, because everybody's trying to do the right thing and get something done. Right. It's, you know, it's always that motivation, but nonetheless, it's not a, it's not a good, it's not good financial. It's not good. And in terms of this, okay, the next question I have is, is what, I mean, I think Bob's already told us what the action is. Okay. And uh, now is that action, are we clear on what that action is? And is it satisfactory? And we talked about moving over the morning. Just for the record, there is sports, we got the sports court pool in this budget. It's not going to be addressed. I'm, I'm and not if it's anybody that's going to argue that. Not getting to the sports court before the end of this fiscal Am I right? Yep. Okay, there's there's $150,000. Put it over here. We got a splash pad that we saved 130 that We budgeted 175 By the time we built ramps, and the splash pad <coughs> was $130,000 additional dollars. Put it over here. We've already budgeted $45,000. The only thing I've <coughs> is budget for this one. Bracket. Finish. That's $330,000. We can't do repairs to those two pools. Cover them in diamond, diamond bright, buy new winter covers for them for 
$330,000. My money's there. It doesn't make sense to do it this fall and cover a full <clears throat> You have a warrant issue. It's going to be covered in five, six months. You can have a warranty on you so many years warrant to cover. Why would you put it in and have it just sit unused? It doesn't yeah. make sense. Get the warranty out of it. Wait and put it on what well, we need to do. I agree. It doesn't. But what you have to do then is you don't buy the pool until it's finished, which won't be till next year. You start the work this year, and then you complete it next year. No one's in disagreement. Okay. I, You're talking about next calendar year. No, I'm ta- yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about let's get the RFPs out now. Let's grind the... We're going. Here's what I can tell you from a staff perspective. Unless the board redirects, we're going to, as we said, months ago, it's going to be a fall project for us. We're going to do our research. We're going to do our homework. We're going to take what the advisory committee has provided to us. Ms. Jenny's pointing out a couple other things we're going to look at. There, we're not, there's no intent to delay the project. We identified it in the budget because we recognize it was done. We'll get done. Now, whether right in our tomorrow or we write it in two weeks or three weeks is not relevant to making sure we do it right. Expediency does not mean we write I can give you examples where when we try to rush through things, it doesn't work out the way we hoped it would. So we're on target with this. I'll work with Ms. Jenny and we'll staff it properly. <coughs> this one doesn't seem that hard, and I don't think we're too far off base. I don't. I guess the thing I'm always about is I don't talk about getting the information. Getting, I don't know whether you're talking about days of It's going to happen probably in the next 30 days. We, we need to figure out, if you grind the pool down, can anyone here tell me grinding down to its base coat? When you go to winterize it, you need to fill it completely, partially, yeah, not at get, all. You have to get the information. But well, that's what we're talking about. Ms. Jenny said do. that, and we're going to talk about it. Well, the skimmers. Right now, we are September 3rd. Uh, September 3rd, we're going how about getting us the information by Saturday and making them go? Sure. Okay. Next, next regular meeting, and basically we should know what's going to be done, and, what, and uh, you know we'll know <coughs> the answer to Jenny's questions is whether or not we can put in uh, by splitting it up, and hopefully that would be the case. Can I mean it seems. You know, I don't know how fools we'll do it, but it's common sense to say that the more work that we can, uh, we should do now because it increases, decreases the risk that something will happen and we won't be able to do it in the spring, or or we'll have to push it on the, the after the pool starts. Yeah, I think we can answer that question. We can do it. Uh, Kathy will have an answer for us by the twenty second. The next regular board. The other thing is, yeah, just looked at the sports score is Mark Henderson of the Spa. In fact, he's one of the ones that has the special covering called Rubarot. That would be something that for the sports score dead. And uh, he has what the swimmer racket. And so somebody can call on because he was a bit poor. Get the RFP. Information is available, and you just have to ask. Can you have a selfish question? Yes, I understand. Sports score, oh, yeah. Is that going to be a long post then? Or is that what, you... the, what we were thinking about was the last three weeks of August, when other pools are still open, and then if we needed to extend past Labor Day, then we be able to still have another open. Everybody wants the pools to stay open after Labor Day. As a four-year aquatics director, I, I know all about this. I'm sure, Colby's going to park very quick. Uh, but people will use it for the sunning. They might, may or may get water. Kids come back to their parents for if the kids are open in the fall. And after about two weeks, it's gone. Nobody wants to do it anymore. And so we usually close about the third week of September. Uh, it's available for that. We certainly can finish off anything that we need to do uh, that time frame. I did 
talk with uh, Mark Henderson about his uh, availability in late August. Uh, listen, your wife should be angry. Well, she would. Yes, I mean, it's understood that a person needs to swim, should be swimming. Bob has spent quite a bit of time in the water himself working on shoulders. At any rate, that's all of that I think is uh, Just one piece of information when you come back with it. Forgetting our magical fiscal year date when the money is spent, when can you comfortably start working on an outdoor pool so that the cover can be put on and open for the season? You know, it, it just when is that? Is that you don't know now? But at, at some point, are we talking March first, March fifteenth, the end of March? In this, we're going to do that homework. And that, that's all I'm asking for is when you know, don't artificially have the work start based on some financial fiscal year deal. Well, the cover is not we need to manage necessary our way around until that. the pool is closed for the season. Right. So if you're going to be constructing up when finishing it, uh, spring and whatnot, we would not cover it until after it's drained down. Right. Okay. And that's not an issue. Okay. So that's made into next calendar. Coverage would have to be this year's budget. It's coming. It's coming. What we're looking for is something relatively specific. In other words, we want to know back what it is that you're and what the net result of that is going to be in terms of pool or consumption. Budgets, uh, of course, it is important, but that's, that's not the driver, actually. And anyway, can't do the same. Forget the yeah, budget. Yeah, but you just want to mark that one down here. Yeah, mark that one down. Mark that one down. Mark that one down. Mark that one down. Swim and Rapid Club pool repairs. This motion is to request that the general manager work with this team to review the recommendations of this committee and to arrange an RFP for the repair of these pools, including the addition of a customized cover for each pool once the repair work is done. The desire is the RFP be requested as soon as feasible to ensure that these pools are prepared and open in time for next summer season. Background is this committee has worked on this project for months to identify that what they think the issues are to bring these pools up to the best standards possible. Well, I think the is I would second. Discussion I then. I Ms. did second. Ms. Ginny Reister has made a presentation of the committee's findings to all the board of directors members at today's meeting. The work is able to be completed this fall. The committee recommends that each be filled and winterized. And that the 
school will have a customized pool cover installed. If the work is not completed this fall, then the committee recommends the pools are filled for the winter months to ensure that the pools will not float. No covers needed to the work has been completed. Right. I've made a mistake, I can tell. You want to correct me? Well, I know you, your subsequent state correct that. Oh, okay. No, 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 So that's all I was saying. And, uh, you know, you spend that money until next year. Discussion? Discussion. Uh, you know, Bob mentions that we put it in a budget because it's going to get done. Sports Corps pool as an example has been in the last four years budget. Not done. So putting it in the budget doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get done. Well, we put more money in, but time to do it. So we're yeah, and that's because, it believe it or not, these things are aging. And if they're not maintained, oh, they don't do that. these things. But if we wait long enough, we can build a new manatorium. Well, I think in looking, looking at this motion, uh, there's several things. Uh, you have to kind of look at it broadly. Uh, to arrange an RFP, well, in fact, there's a, the work that you're doing uh, will, in fact, be arranging an RFP, getting all the necessary information, putting an RFP together, and uh, hopefully, uh, 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 past that. Uh, the repair of these, including the addition of, of uh, customized coverage, is done. I think, I mean, that's true. But I think what we're looking at is the time period under which each one of these things is done. Is that what you're not right. about? Yeah. And so, so in other words, uh, what we're really looking at is that timeline uh, that this is done, this is done. No. You, you've instructed him to have this information. This motion is so open-ended in so many areas. And by the 27th, we're open at answers to those open-ended and the question. So I think that the, you know, a motion would be more specific on the 27th than it would now. Now it's just saying, go do what you said you were going to do and then get get back to us. I don't know. I agree that that's important. I think we table this motion uh, until the 27th. In this case, we would have a motion to very specific and to the exact uh, work. Uh, so the next aquatics meeting is the 24th of September. Yes. So perhaps at that time, you might have a bit more information if there's an aquatic committee, then I can prepare to present another motion if necessary. Actually, not. If that being necessary. Be so. yeah. The anticipation is for us to receive a different motion. You don't want to table this one. You simply want to vote this one down and take the new motion that's got the detail in it. I agree. I agree. Okay. So let's have a vote on that a uh, second. There's no further discussion. Uh, all those in favor of the motion. All those against. But motions. Uh, on. But there will be another one. <laughs> it's coming back. Okay. Thank you very much. Can I go on that action list? <laughs> uh, yes. That will end the. To, uh, I, I would like to just publicly thank <coughs> John Wetzelberger. Uh, John is talking to Tom Stouse, but well, I do want you to it. hear this, John. Yeah, okay. Break it up. Uh, John has been a big volunteer in the Ocean Ponds community, on the Budget and Finance Committee, and now on the Aquatics Committee. He is leaving us, moving to Florida. We want to thank you publicly, John, for all the good work you've Gosh. done in Ocean Pines. Thank you personally, and thank you from the board. Uh, we're going to miss you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good minutes. Um, well, starting right off, you have what the action items for uh, resolving this. Got it? Good. Uh, the action items is actually next one. That's next on the agenda. That's next on the agenda, right. But do we have any action items oh. resulting from this meeting? We do have yeah, one. Actually, we have two. Okay. We have one. Okay. We have one. Okay. Uh, 
why the information provided to you all other people at the next board meeting for the information from the next board meeting was just discussed. The second one was a rewrite of the your information, uh, this um, board meeting. Board meeting. Uh, board meeting. Yeah, any suggestion? I'm going to rewrite it. Oh, we will vote online. We have to vote on making the calendar as a change. No, I think we've accepted the calendar accepted as a change. So, uh, but we'll get a so new one. We'll, we'll also, yeah. if you want to include that in action, I think we're going to get you to update the calendar with the dates that we talked about. With the correct the dates, dates instead of what we now have. <laughs> right. Stick with what you have <laughs> now. Show up then. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. It's not something like this. Tom, I'll take it. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, on the agenda, we left off media yeah. comments. Uh, Thank you. Before, before we get the media comments, uh, David, uh, as, a, as a liaison, I have something that I wanted to make the board aware of. Uh, at the last uh, meeting at the county commission, I think last year sometime, I brought to the table that mm, they had put out for bids, contract to replace water lines up and down Ocean Park. Um, th what happened was when they put out those bids, they didn't receive any back from anybody interested in doing the work because they were busy during the summer. So what they are going to do based on their action this past Tuesday is put it out for bids <coughs> again. Um, and According to um, the director, John Tustin, he thinks that they'll get adequate bids for the work. Uh, that will be closed down sometime in the September, October, October time frame. Decision made, brought back to commissioners, and they look to begin the work sometime in the October, November time frame and make it a winter project. And I brought this back for Bob and and the archives so that they can get an idea as to what the heck's going on. Thank you. It's item eight. Media comments. Comments to media. Questions? Uh, yeah, uh, several. Uh, first. The, uh, in the meeting schedule, uh, are, re are work sessions um, part of the program now, or are they, are they kind of abolished? Essentially, one meeting a month. The last week of the month, generally on Thursday or Saturday. That right now, we have not scheduled work sessions. Okay. And there, would, uh, there might be special meetings. Uh, and, oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. I would think so. As okay. a matter of fact, there were. There was a subject I was going to bring out that I we, we have in the past, Graham, just think about it, is that we have in distance uh, had work sessions uh, that preceded a, the regular board. And I think, oh, yeah, well, I really was going to speak so far. <laughs> uh, it, it, um, uh, it's interesting. I've gone back and looked at some that we had. In a way, it did. Now, the work sessions were good because everybody could say what they thought about. It. Yeah. And, uh, and I think the people tend to get that time, so really like uh, They got out of hand sometimes, probably. The, uh, but what did happen was the result of the board meetings were really good. Fundamentally, had discussion. So, uh, I uh, I would invite you to think about that. Nope, go back. That's all I I want to say. Okay. Um, also, I think there is a consensus here that uh, the financials would be posted online. Uh, are we? Talking the talking about a one page summary or our Carmine's a ten page summary. Monthly, a ten page. Okay. All right. 
thought that's what he meant. By citizenship. And and it's I'm understanding that all of the supporting information that uh, the board uh, would normally receive prior to a meeting within the three day uh, time frame, all of that would be either made available to the media or post mine. Uh, As practice. Maybe the day of the case. Uh, follow up. But I, that that would be the latest time. And that's one of the things that this has to be written, uh, you know, the word as words as as practice uh, what has to be served. Because it's sometimes it's just not going to have the details. I would generally expect to have the administration, but on the other hand, <coughs> something like ten years. Do the best we can. Fair enough. That's the intent. May I have a motion? Oh, you need it. You got a vote. No, I'm done. We start. Joe. What, uh, what constitutes three days? Three days? There's a Monday notice of when we need three days notice. We didn't say a work case. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the board will send me their But we have only Thursday meetings. So that's not really too relevant to us. I suppose we had a month. If I can get stuff like the business on Friday, I don't want to be got the stuff. But that's not the case here. I think the case is. I would assume three days notice is fine. Um, yeah, the last time my agenda is adjourned to closed session, uh, the last six months or ago, Jeff Nepper, board member, made motions to go closed session yeah. and explaining as much detail as possible about when any part what the purpose of the closed session for for example, they would say if you want a closed session, such and such a contract. Uh, are you going to continue to point? Uh, yes. Kathy, you have that motion? Is that I have a uh, closed session. You know, I uh, for contractual and legal issue updates and extension of 1993 franchise agreements in San Francisco. With Tom's question with regard to the financial thing, uh, if I'm not mistaken, get those in Excel spreadsheets. You know what? No. So now, you get them hard copy. No, I will. No, I know. We will change things. Hopefully, if it's French, you put on a website, it will happen that way. So. No, we'll scan no, it. We'll, we'll scan it to PDF form um, and upload it. Yeah, I was going to say a PDF would work up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Do I have a first motion to adjourn? No. Actually, motion no, to go no. Parliamentarily, you need to make a motion to go into closed session. I make a motion and I go to the purpose of the practical legal issue updates, specifically for the extension 1993 franchise agreement. Second. 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 All in favor. Aye. Uh, Break before we start. Yeah, no, I agree.